slices across its equator roughly 10 times longer than the Grand Canyon on Earth. The tallest volcano in the solar system rises 16 miles above the Martian plain. Colossal craters punctuate the planet. Beautiful, but there's nothing welcoming about this place. Mars lacks a global magnetic field to protect it from the solar wind. Blasted by radiation, its atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide, is 100 times thinner than Earth's. Too thin to trap much heat. Temperatures can rise above freezing at the equator during the Martian summer. But mostly, the surface is frigid, averaging around minus 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Liquid water would vaporize or freeze solid almost instantly on Mars today. And yet, water has left its mark all over the planet. River valleys, deltas, landscapes scoured by massive floods. Most experts would agree that three and a half to four billion years ago on Mars, there was probably significantly more water in lakes, as flowing rivers at times. To some extent, Mars is like a twin of Earth early in its history. Back when Mars was awash with water, did life take hold there? <laughs>